Hey guys, welcome back. So first off, excuse the beanie. My hairline right now is pretty atrocious. Um, and yeah, so a hat it is. A hat's gonna cover up all that. So this is the look I created today. I hope you like it. If you do, then stay tuned and see how we do it. Okay, so I already started to do one eye because I wasn't sure what I even wanted to do. So I was just messing around with colors because there's been so many times where I have just kind of went on camera and just was winging it, didn't really know what I wanted to do. And then I just, I ended up hating it and it was just a waste of a tutorial. So this is why I decided to try beforehand to see. So we're kind of getting somewhere. So I don't know how it's gonna end up, but we'll just go with it. So the palette I'm gonna to use today, it's a one of the new Morphe palettes. So Morphe are like, I think they're like rebranding the whole brand. Um, so they have like new types of palettes coming out. So this is one of the newer ones. It's a bit bigger than um, usual. I don't think they're all going to be this size. I just think this is one of the newer ones that they're just bringing out. I just, yeah, I don't think they're all going to be as this big. But this is how big it is. It's a 39A. Um, and the colors, there's a good range of colors in them. So here you can see... And I have a feeling these ones here in the middle are made bigger because I would say you can use them for contour or bronze, stuff like that. I have a feeling, like it is an eyeshadow palette, but that's kind of the gist I get from it. And to be honest with you, they are pretty good colors to contour with, so you can kind of use it for both. So this is how it looks. So you have like the pinks, browns, and then down here you have some greens and blues. So there's a good mixture of shades. So this is what we're gonna to use today. So the first shade I used is this one here and it's called Sunder. So I'm just using a, fl um, a fluffy brush. This is a Morphe MB23 brush. So we're just gonna work this color right into the crease. I just realized I didn't put an eye base on this eye. I'm not doing it now. So just so you know, I would usually put an eye base down. The one I used on this eye was just a soft ochre paint pot from MAC. Okay. So that's the first color here. So the next shade I'm going to use is this color here. It's called Create. So with the same brush, going in with this into more focused into the crease. So the next color I'm going in with is a deeper shade here and it's called Passion. And I'm getting a smaller brush. This is a Zoeva 231 brush. So it's just a little small blending brush, but I'm just gonna use the tip of this and go into the crease again. So we're just more so defining the crease with this. So kind of like chiseling out the crease because I don't have a very defined crease. So this kind of helps. I like to go back and forth then with my brushes. So just in with the first brush, just kind of in between every time I use the other one, it just helps everything blend. Now going in with the black shade here, it's called Muse. So just focusing this on the outer corner first. And then just kind of softly blending it in to the inner crease. Now I'm gonna use this Urban Decay Primer. This is in the shade Sin. So I'm gonna use this all over the lid first and then I'm gonna put the color Trendy on top. And I'm just using a flat brush for this. This is a NYX brush. Um, I think the number wore off with just this little flat brush here. So I'm just putting this product all over the lid first. Just kind of blend that in. Okay, I went in a bit too far here, but I will fix that in a minute. So using an eye base before using like shimmery colors just helps intensify the shimmer and help the kind of eye look pop a little bit more. These are pretty pigmented. Like this is the shade by itself. Like that's just one swipe on my hand. So you can see that it is quite pigmented and you can also see how white I am right now. 
but um so it's quite pigmented by itself i just always like to use an eye base because it just gives it that little bit more intensity but you know whatever floats your boat i'm just going back in with a bit more of the black and just kind of going over the bit here that we lost So I'm going to prep my skin, I'm going to use the strobe cream, this is the pink light one. But I do love regular strobe cream too. So this one just has a bit more of a pinky tinge to it than the original, but I actually really like them all. So it just gives you that really nice subtle glow, you can kind of see here. I love strobe cream. And I really like using it before makeup because it dries really quick into the skin, you don't have to like sit around and wait for it to absorb before you blah, 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 before you put your foundation on it's just like really quick quick absorbing why can't i speak today it's definitely one of my favorites to prep my skin with sometimes i just use this alone i like i will use this as a primer but for today's sake i am going to use some primer i'm going to use the fenty beauty primer and i don't put primer all over either so i just put a small bit on my hands and i'll just do in around kind of the nose area what's on the t-zone anywhere that i find that my makeup wears off quicker in the day which is like my forehead for some reason just wears off so quick i don't know why so i like to prime there and again just t-zone so I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Foundation today. So this is still the same type of coverage as the regular Double Wear, but it's just supposed to feel lighter on the skin. Um, I've worn this a few times and really liked it. Color is a little bit darker than my skin tone because I'm usually tanned, so I need to redo that. So I will match, but this covers, so it doesn't really matter. This brush I'm using, by the way, is the brush that I got with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation, and I really like it. So it's this flat top. So usually I like to do my all my skin first before eyes. I, I'm not someone who likes to do my eyes first, but today obviously I did because I didn't know what I was doing on my eyes, so it's usually easier just to practice on one eye without a whole face done. So if you mess it up, it's easier to take off. But um, yeah, just because I know people are usually curious about that, which obviously there's no right or wrong way. So don't ever feel like there is a right or a wrong way to do your foundation. Um, there's not. If you want to do it first, do it first. If you don't, don't. So you can see here, this foundation is quite dewy, which I love. This is like my favorite type of finish for a foundation. Um, I don't know what it would be like with oily skin. I would say use a very high oil controlling primer um, because it is quite dewy. But I don't know, let me know if you have tried this on, if you have oily skin and you've tried this, let me know how it worked for you because I would actually like to know highlight gonna use shape tape always always shape tape so the shade i use is the shade light so and i'm just gonna blend this out with a zoeva 128 brush actually i'm switched i'm gonna use a sigma high cheekbone highlighter brush because this is easier just to kind of get around the shadow now i'm going to use the peach perfect powder from too faced so people always ask me about where i powder and why i powder certain areas so usually where i like to powder is just my t-zone sometimes it's just underneath the eyes so I'll always set my concealer. So it's just usually like a light dusting. Cause I don't like to look heavy powdered look. I don't like that look. Um, so lightly underneath here. And because this foundation is quite dewy, I am going to powder just kind of around the forehead. More so like the inner part of the forehead. I don't mind this bit being shiny. 
but I don't want it all to be too shiny. And again, I'm just gonna go around the mouth because these are areas you don't necessarily want it to be shiny because it looks sweaty or greasy. And that's not a cute look. So I'll always check, like it doesn't feel too tacky so I feel like my bronzer will sit okay on top of that. But if the foundation is quite wet and quite tacky, I will have to powder obviously where I'm gonna put powder contour. Because if I put powder contour on somewhere that's very wet and tacky, it's just gonna stick, it's gonna go blotchy. So just kind of have a feel for that yourself. If it is a stickier foundation or a not drying foundation, um, yeah, just kind of use your gut instinct on that one. But yeah, as I said, even though this is quite shiny, it's not very like sticky or wet. So I think we should be okay. We'll soon find out. We'll actually find out right now. So I'm gonna use this to bronze today and also contour. This brush is a Morphe Y3 brush. Gonna add a little bit more just underneath the cheekbones. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. I'm gonna use Style Blush from MAC. Same as always. And though this is a Fenty brush, um, their highlight brush. So I'm just... And for highlight, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Glow Kit again, and I'm gonna use just the shade Butterscotch. So it's this one here. Gorge. Gorge, gorge, gorge. Just gonna add a little bit in around kind of the, what do you call it, the brow bone? Gonna add a little bit more just up around here. Even though it is already quite dewy and glowy, I'm just gonna add more because why not? So we're gonna go back in and do the underneath. So we wanna get some passion. We're just gonna go right underneath the eye with this one. Poke yourself in the eye as well if you want. And then back in with the shade Sunder, which is the first shade we used. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. And the lashes I'm using are Lily Lashes in the style Ella. So I'm gonna take a little bit of I'm Peachless Shadow from Makeup Geek. I'm just gonna use this to highlight the inner corners. For the lips, I'm gonna use the Melted Latex from Too Faced. This is the shade Peekaboo. Um, and no, there is no latex in it, it's just the name. Before people lose their shit. So I think we're done. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And also, give me some inspo because I've been kind of, every time I go to film lately, it's kind of like, oh, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. So if you have any ideas or any specific looks, colors, and um, palettes, I don't know, whatever, anything that you wanna see, please let me know in the comments below because I always like to take your ideas on board because obviously you're watching, so you're gonna wanna watch what you wanna see, if that makes sense. Have a great day and I will see you in my next video.